Hij ligt weer even die. Ze is net weer right there, maar ik ken die koek. Ze is toch sick! Talk about horse girl hentai, jij. Ass, I guess. So uh, let's do it. Kick ass and ask no questions. So. What's still that awkward turning? Yes. It's it's the equivalent of like the Pokemon starting in Sword and Shield. Yeah, this. Only that this game this game came out eight years before that game. I'm your brother. You're going to tell me exactly who you are right now. You don't really look like much of a father. You'll be a meal for me soon enough. Then I guess I'll just have to kill you. It Didn't you just you like animate just a normal smile? <laughs> Unfortunately, you have me mistaken with someone else. Why can't you close his mouth? That's right. The fact that you've absorbed the people in that town only works to my advantage. Why do you say that? It means I don't have to hold back. This is stop him. So anyway, horse go ahead and tie. You see us there? Yeah, I am I am here. Alright, so apparently uh, there's some things going on in Pixar where if you draw the hentai based off this one anime which is now has a gacha game that's pretty popular. Because obviously the gacha game is always what starts all the fucking chain anti chain reactions. Nice. So, and uh, Japanese people in the comments are like, no, you cannot do like some foreign artists and also other Japanese artists. No, you cannot make hentai. Guidelines prohibit to get the hentai. And uh, you know, the, the foreigners are like, ah, fuck you, I don't give a shit. But the Yakuza are behind it. But I'm a foreigner, the Yakuza ain't got shit on me. Oh no, get onto a horse girl porn. The fucking Yakuza will come after me. They own the horses. But, um. That's all a little bit like, yeah, okay, that doesn't really make much sense. But the real, the real fact that, like, the horses that are anime girls are based off of real horses in Japan. And those horse owners don't want porn of it. And because of copyright nonsense, I guess, they make the guideline against it. But. Yeah, no. Who sent you know, uh, I've got multiple opinions on this that are all leading towards, you know, you kind of kind of can't do anything about porn being made of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, for one thing, you know, you're going to make a game about cute anime girls. And, you know, if you look at, like, the gacha games... That are based off of cute anime goals like Genshin Impact, uh, Spawn uh, Azure Lane. You'll probably notice that its, fa it's fan bases are known for drawing a lot of porn. Yes. So, when you see a lot of porn of the thing you just made, is that kind of your own fault? Yeah, it actually it's is. It's like you should have known better what the audience is going to be for this horse game. Yeah. Or anime girls game. And as well, I I just think yeah, the horse owners probably did it though. I would say okay, fair. But then you probably should have told the horse owners, yeah, there's gonna be poor mates of it. I'm sorry, there's no, there's no, you cannot do anything about it. And um. How should I put it like this? It's like, you know, you really cannot stop people making porn of, like, things. It's just not, it's just not possible. I'm sorry to say, but it's literally... Like how Blizzard tried to do it with their own exactly. character. Because uh, some of the Japanese seem to think that because we're foreigners, we must be okay. We, like, we, we should be 100% fine making porn of it. That's not the reason. It's The, the reason is more so that the artists just do not give a fuck. Like, you could literally point a gun to the head and tell them to stop making porn and they would still do it. So I can't say I wonder if <coughs> because I do uh, be, because isn't it also the case that like games like uh, what's it called 
Overwatch was also played by uh, by the Japanese audience. Wouldn't they oh, yeah. also do the same shit? Yes. Even though it's Blizzard is like an uh, overseas company for them. I don't. Yeah, I might maybe. I mean, I know that Japan is more about like respect and like and following the rules and shit, but. Right. Yeah, you cannot convince the Westerners to do the same thing. It's just not possible. No, you're just a stupid company. Who cares what you think? But that's basically how. That's basically the Westerner mindset. So I just think you know. I mean, the same reason why more Japanese people care about piracy, whereas like most Westerners are like piracy. Pff, yeah, I do that every single day. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. They, you know, they don't care. It's the, it's the answer. And I get respecting the original creator saying like, oh no, I don't want poor mate to fit. But again, I can't respect a dumb decision either at the same time. Because it's like, you know, you make a game where the target audience are people that want a lot of porn. What are you expecting? Like, come on. You have to think oh. about it, so sorry, yeah, sort of thing. Who did you expect it to play? Little little girls? Even even Western companies that don't really aren't really into like the hentai business. Even some even Disney will just go like, okay, here's Kim Possible porn. You see this? This will happen to your cartoon. Right? Just so you understand. Because they know it's it's inevitable. And yeah. And some Japanese seem to really think that we're gonna get in trouble or something, like old trouble or something for that's following the horse girl anime porn, but it's like, man, listen, that doesn't stop anyone. <laughs> Do you not know what piracy is? It's like, if, yeah, like, it, exactly. It's like, if you if you really thought this was going to stop it, then look at all the anime uh, piracy sites. They're still there. No like, those those are way more show. legal, and they don't, and they still, you know, they're still there. Like you can't, you literally cannot stop anyone, because. <laughs> Yeah, you can take their art down. Okay, they'll just upload it in a different account somewhere else. I'm just saying. You're on the internet. You can... Yeah, it's like, oh, but what if they block the game from the West? It's like, yeah, good luck. This, this thing we call VPN. Like, literally everything you can think of, every legal measure when it comes to things like porn and piracy, there's always going to be, like, a measure, a counter measure towards it. So that's why doing it is so futile. Now, at the same time, I think these guidelines are similar, might also just be similar to the Evangelion's time first guidelines. Because Evangelion also had like guidelines of like, no, you cannot draw porn of Evangelion. But then the people themselves say from, well, yeah, but these are only like for legal reasons, you know, we don't actually care. And this might be... Are you fucking kidding me, Google? Did you get locked out again? I got a mail of like... Is this you, sir? Okay, hold on. So I got the first email, which is like critical uh, safety uh, thing for my Gmail. And then it's like your Google account is recovered. And then finally another safety email for this. And then again, your account. Your, uh, Google account is restored, and then again, the reviving but it's like, Jesus Christ! What? Are you sure you're not getting fished out of something? I don't know, this, it's like this all came late, what the fuck? It's all from Friday! Why am I getting notification of it now, then? God Stop damn. scaring me! <laughs> I'm trying to play, play a bad game. I'm we'll talking about horse girl porn. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically, I think uh, I, I get I get why if the Japanese don't follow these guidelines and respect the artist, but please, please do not get too angry and expect the foreigners to follow or all of the artists to follow because it's just. But There's actually not gonna be too much of repercussions, and if there is, they'll always find a way around it. That's just kind of how it goes. You're on the internet. You should have seen this coming. Basically, I don't know how the Japanese inside of the internet is, but in the Western side, you know, you don't have to worry about legal repercussions because the Westerners do not fucking care. <laughs> really do oh, not I'm care. Even thinking about it, it's like, you know, sure, certainly, is like in the Japanese culture, uh, there's good, good chance that the majority like the what do you call it uh, uh, keep well, respecting this shit right keep respecting and then like you know follow the rules you know, like, yeah but, yeah. I, but, but that's the majority i'm just saying i think there's still probably in even the japanese side of things are a few that oh, still definitely. give shit 
like there were like years ago when it was just the anime, they also made the hentai of it. They also had the same comments. Too. So someone also just says, yeah, yeah, you don't have to talk. You don't have to care about the Uma police. If just you, you know, calm down. Have ways of making you talk. I think. Yeah, uh, it just really just depends on the person you talk so to, but I don't think people I really are going to stop. And I don't think so you have to take every guideline that win. is against porn too seriously either, because most guidelines are also just kind of there for legal reasons. But they don't, you don't really have to follow them. That's sometimes how it goes too. I think for me the important question is like exactly what this, what the, does this do to the thing? Is it because it's like makes porn, makes it like the brand only known for its porn then? Well, I think hmm. it's more so the horse owners, not well. It's it's more copyrighted to horse owners, I want to say. Could be. That was the reason, I think. That was the reason I was given at least. I mean, someone just said the Yakuza might come after you, but that that seems to be kind of, kind of bit. Um, Exaggerated. Yeah, it's kind of a bit nonsense. Yeah, don't, 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 don't do that thing. Why is exp uh, is it supposed to even be? Okay, that makes sense. So anyway, uh, what was what I was there was something else I wanted to talk about. I don't know what it was. I mean, the night clock not having any effect seems to be now something that's uh, it's a, it's a uh, fair opinion. You know, you're not, uh, you're not, you know, you know, six months ago I'd be called a drug addict by the prime minister for said the night clock didn't work. Now it's like the normal person, the uh, one of the uh, what was he? One of the advert, like one of the more legal person, legal persons. Legal, one of the board. Uh, let me let me see. Maybe I could go to the video. Let's see better. Authoritative person says it had no effect, and the experts are like, "What, Nani? What do you mean it had no effect?" Like, man, you know, do you see the numbers going down? I yes, think he's one, I think he's like one of the uh, minister or one of the people in the ministry of like uh, health and stuff. Yeah. Hellzone grenades! Oh, it's a, it's a, I swear to god when it comes to some of these people that we have in this whole lockdown climate, right? The people that think that the 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 the, 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 no, the night clock thing actually works are probably just us uh, seals just clapping like idiots. I actually don't think anyone thinks it works besides experts. Why are you dashing away just to dash back at me? Why? Maybe it's intellectual. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's, we're too stupid to think that something like this would work. No, I'm, I'm talking about the game. Oh, not that one. I'm not talking about it. I am talking about that. Why is he dashing away from me only to come back? Why is he going out of melee range just to come back into melee range? <laughs> to confuse you. Hi Sal, how are you doing? The day when I will finally fuse with Android 17 and 18. Okay, whatever you say. But you're in the way. Get lost. I'm playing with this guy right now. 17! This monster is planning to kill you and absorb your power! No, he's just planning to absorb you. Run! Run! What's the other side now? And it's gonna know something funny. Right. Well, first of all, I can only play on 17 for like 10 seconds. <laughs> then the cutscene happens. And the other thing is, uh, like, uh, 17 has this uh, beam attack called Photon Blaster. Can you guess which ra in which range you have to use it? In the, in, in the melee range. Yep. <laughs> you actually think we'll let you absorb us? It's a beam attack. <laughs> Alright. You're, you're supposed to use beam attacks in the key range. Yes, this blast, this beam attack is totally a melee attack. What are you talking about? What's that? 
You want me to run away just when things are starting to get interesting? Don't make me laugh. Here I come. Bio Impact. Full power energy ball. It's two big balls. Damn, why do, why do they keep blocking my attacks, man? Because he keeps on why getting did, Why did the sky go dark? <laughs> man, what happened to my HP? Uh, you lost it magically? <laughs> yeah, I did. What happened? Wait, wait, somebody had a shocked face? Oh, I have to see that for a moment. Who had that shocked face when he dared to say those fucking Oh no, words? Ellis, hold on. Look at the game. I'm gonna die. Oh no. You have to keep looking at the game, right? You don't have to yeah, I'm looking, it. I'm looking. <laughs> like, it's funny you're gonna have to, like, look up, like, jokes and shit, like, shit about, like... Uh, the, the, the stupid, idiot intellectuals, you know, yes? Yes, but you have to still look at the game. <laughs> 